What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com. Today we're bringing you a closer and on-feet look at the Air Jordan 7 known as Pantone or University Blue or even UNC. Now for those that are interested in purchasing, they drop April 29th. Retail will be $190 and you can grab them at Chic Shoes Retailers. Link in the description below. So for those that don't know, the Pantone nickname was given actually back in 2010 because the shoe was produced as a sample and it was pretty much one through... Gosh, I don't even remember. I want to say maybe 2010 model. I'm not sure. But it was a lot of them, and they were on display in various locations. But Jordan Brand in 2017 is finally going to release them. But they're giving them the UNC nickname. You know, a lot of blue shoes dropped in April. And uh, they actually planned that way before UNC won the NCAA. But bringing you closer now. So, University Blue covers the entire uppers, which is constructed of nubuck. And you can see the perforations and, you know, the stitching details and things like that throughout. So, at the heel, we have the Jumpman, and that's stitched on, and that is done in, like, a silver finish. Now, let's jump to the heel. You got your University Blue, the 2-3, it's done in a lighter shade of blue, but that's due to the material that was used on the base, which is Nubuck, and then the backdrop is done in white. Medial side, just like the lateral, we got all blue, and the midsole obviously is done in white, just a uh, straightforward color thing. Not bad at all. Sorry if I seem out of it a little bit. It's uh, 4.30 a.m. And I still have to shoot the news video. So I decided to do that today. Because there's some important stuff. So obviously um, that's already been uploaded. So if you want to check that out, it's the older video. Or the previous video. But across the toe, we got blue, new buck. But you kind of see the glue stains come up on it. Which, a little bit of discoloration. Although... The glue stains or the amount of glue stains isn't so bad. Perforated tongue, all blue. Laces, all blue. And the Air Jordan on the tongue itself is done in white. Lace tips. We've got chrome metal lace tips. And then the liner. Done in all black. As you can see. And this time I remember to pull out the insole. So University Blue and then the Jumpman done in white. So let's bring it to the sole. All white sole matching the, the midsole of it. The outsole is matching the midsole. And then University Blue on the Jumpman. I understand that they used... Um, white on the you know midsole and outsole what they're trying to do here but uh the white midsole but at least they're dropping it at a decent time it's not like raining or anything like that i mean it probably is in areas but it's the weather's been good where i'm at but yeah this is your closer look at the air jordan 7 pantone dropping this weekend should be a easy pickup but i'll get to that in the outro Honestly, after having, you know, shoes in hand, I'm more excited about the Nike Air Indestruct dropping than these. It's probably just because it's been so long since those have been available. But let's jump to the on feet.
Alright everybody, so that was your closer and on feet look at the Air Jordan 7 Pantone, aka University Blue, aka UNC. So they drop April 29th, retail will be 190 and you grab them at Chic Shoes Retailers, link in the description below. As for the craftsmanship, um, I checked this pair out and a few others, so I can't really judge them all, but from what I saw, it seems fair. Um, there are some glue stains which you saw, and a little bit eh, but nothing terrible. Um, I have yet to do it on feet of them, and even before checking out, it looked like some of the midsole was pre-creased. Um, unless somebody wore them before I got my hands on them, which I doubt, because I just don't think so. The white sole would be, would have a little bit of black or something on it, debris, some shit like that. But, um, this is a massive GR as well. So if you want to get them, it should be an easy pickup. Um, but... Like I always say, you know, just make sure if you really want them to wake up early, uh, fill out raffles if you need to ahead of time and um, check the sneakers app or go to Even Chic Shoes and grab them. Um, I don't think they're going to sell out first day. I don't think they're going to sell out first week. Um, you know, it's hard to say if these will go on sale. I want to say they will, but at the same time, um, they don't release a lot of Air Jordan 7s, not in men's sizes. Um, I don't think they released another one this year. If I'm wrong, leave a comment below. I could be, but I believe last year we just had the one, the Tinker Alternate Olympic. So that might be a driving force as well. Um, but like I say, you know, just make sure you fill out your raffles, do what you got to do to obtain them. But leave a comment below. Let me know if you plan on picking these up, passing, and going after one of the many releases that are happening this weekend, like the Yeezy Boost 350, V2 Cream White, a couple of Nike Airshake Indestructs, and um, there's an Air Jordan 7 for kids that I'll have up Friday, I believe. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of these. You're going to pick them up, pass, or just try your luck and see if they go on sale. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.